If you have overactive bladder, the actual diagnosis of overactive bladder, that's contraindicated for this mudra. Other urinary problems, UTIs, things like that are fine to do this mudra, but just if you have a diagnosis of overactive bladder, it's not recommended for you. Um, so before we hold the mudra, I wanna read a little bit about it, Varuna mudra. In addition to the urinary bladder, other practitioners hold that it is the disease killer. It can eradicate most disease within the body. That um, It's just such a wonderful healing mudra. But we're gonna focus on the fluidity of it, the beautiful movement of the fluids within our body, especially in the eliminatory process. Cystitis is an inflammation of the lining of the urinary bladder, and we say urinary bladder because we also have the gallbladder, whose symptoms include frequent urination, burning, burning during urination, and pelvic discomfort. There are several causes of cystitis, the most common being a bacterial infection, which is called a urinary tract infection, or UTI. UTIs are quite common, while other forms of cystitis are less so. Non-infectious causes of cystitis include medications, radiation, and disorders such as diabetes and enlarged prostate. Stress can aggravate symptoms of any form of cystitis. If you've been with us all five days of the challenge, or even if it's day one, but if you've been with us, you'll notice there's a pattern of stress very specific, concrete reasons how stress physically causes so many problems. Varuna is the god of water in Ayurvedic Hindu practice, and Varuna Mudra is the gesture traditionally recommended for urinary problems. This gesture directs breath and awareness and energy to the entire front of the pelvis and to the area of the bladder in particular releasing tension and enhancing circulation. Varuna Mudra also directs breath, awareness, and energy to the area of the kidneys, which are just up under and back under your rib cage, supporting their optimal functioning. This mudra, mudra cultivates a cooling and refreshing sensation, which increases the level of comfort within the urinary tract especially when inflammation is present. This gesture also creates a massaging effect within the pelvic floor, releasing tension and enhancing circulation, which supports the health of the urinary and reproductive systems, especially the prostate gland. And in Chinese medicine, we want to really think about why reproductive system as well. And the kidneys and the um, urinary bladder, that whole system, as well as the adrenals, are tied to reproductive health as well. They're all one system. So both of these ancient practices identified this connection. So let's begin to learn how to make the mudra. So you're going to bend your pinky finger, your little finger of your right hand, to the base of the thumb. This is almost impossible for some of you, so just bend it wherever you can get it. My husband cannot do it, so I understand, but get as close, and you ideally, can you, if you can get right there, that's ideal. Extend the middle ring and index fingers out. You'll see I can't extend this. I'm not holding my thumb. I just can't lift this finger up, but we're going to do another step, which is going to help all of this. Okay, so those are straight out. Rest the back of the right hand onto the palm of the left hand, so we're going to put the right hand, the back of it, into the palm of our left hand. Now, you're gonna place the thumb, um, sorry, and we're gonna lightly wrap the left hand around the outer border of the right hand. So, it's in the palm and then wrap. Now, place the thumb over the right thumb. So, we're gonna bring, we have this here, I'm gonna kind of, I can't really reverse it, let me see if I can get it for you. This is wrapped. Then we're going to lower the thumb onto the pinky, the right thumb, and then the left thumb holds that right thumb. So we have this configuration here. Bring the other fingers as much together as you're able of the right hand. And you're going to hold it below the navel or on your lap. So you can just put it on your lap 
or hold it on your navel. So let's do that again. It is quite tricky. Yes, <laughs> Patty. So bring the right pinky down to the base of the right thumb. Then you're going to bring the back of the right hand into the palm of the left hand. Wrap the fingers of the left hand around. And now the thumb of the left hand is going to hold down the thumb of the right hand and they're both holding down the pinky. This is a tricky one. So well done. This also can be quite tricky for people to hold. You'll really feel it. So remember, hold it down by your navel or on your lap. All right, good, close your eyes. Refreshing inner stream meditation. As you hold Varuna Mudra, take several natural breaths to attune to all the feelings and sensations awakened by this gesture. Notice how your breath is gently directed into your pelvis instilling a sense of inner refreshment and ease that supports your urinary system in functioning, in functioning optimally. To deepen your sense of refreshment and ease, Visualize a soothing stream that bathes each part of your urinary system in refreshing energy. Begin by bringing your awareness to your kidneys, one on each side of your mid back. Essential organs that filter your blood and remove excess liquid. Take several breaths to sense your soothing inner stream flowing through your kidneys, nourishing them to support their optimal functioning. Your stream of nourishment and healing now bathes your ureters, the long muscular tubes that transfer liquid smoothly downward from your kidneys to your bladder. Take some time to sense your ureters expanding and releasing in synchrony with your smooth, rhythmic breathing, allowing stress and tension to be released, ensuring their optimal functioning.
Your healing stream now flows into your bladder, low in the front of your pelvis, where liquid is stored for release, massaging your pelvis internally, allowing the muscles in this area to relax completely. Take several breaths to sense the walls of your bladder expanding and relaxing, nourished with your rhythmic breathing, completely healing this area of your being. Now, visualize your healing stream flowing through your entire urinary system, nourishing it completely, supporting its optimal functioning. Also sense the quality of fluidity filling your entire body, supporting every cell, tissue, and organ of your body in functioning smoothly and optimally. Affirm your urinary health, repeating the following three times aloud or silently. Bathed in nourishing, refreshing energy, my urinary system functions optimally. Bathed in nourishing, refreshing energy. My urinary system functions optimally. Bathed in nourishing, refreshing energy. My urinary system functions optimally. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly release the gesture taking several breaths to rest in the complete ease that allows your urinary system to function perfectly. When you are ready, open your eyes, returning slowly and gently with a greater ease and fluidity.